This is a 10 pin connector. Couldn't find any online, so we're gonna be building our own. We're gonna go through it just a little bit to show you what we're doing, and then we're gonna be speeding up the rest because we don't have a lot of time today. So we've got these uh, wires that have four of them joined together. I'm gonna put about a foot on each side so that we've got plenty of wire to play with. Then from here, we're gonna pull them apart about an inch or so. And then we'll get down to these connectors. These blue fittings and these fittings here are for waterproofing. We're not super worried about that in this car. All right, so we got the uh, wiring harnesses done last night. So we're gonna uh, wire this up. We're gonna wire these up today with this. And then this wire right here is gonna be used for, our, for the electric fan because it's a 50 amp switch and so it needs a different gauged wire. Um, and this will be used for anything else we need to do that we're not gonna connect up to these harnesses. So we have an in and an out on each one of these toggle switches. So what we're gonna be doing, and since these are a 10, 10 toggle switches on each side. We're gonna be going down. So the green in and the green out, yellow in, yellow out, brown in, brown out, white in, white out. So what we'll be doing is we'll have one go in and one come out and we'll label them so that we know where they go and then we can decide what each toggle switch will be doing. We kind of have a general idea for everything right now. Um, we're just gonna get everything wired up.
Um, we've got the main toggles we'll be using to start the car and uh, run all of his accessories and ons. Um, looks like a bit of a mess right now, but it's it's a lot simpler than it than it than it actually looked. We got the uh, red e-stop LED, and so we're going to be drilling that hole out really quick and wiring that in. And then after that, all we'll be waiting on is that key switch right there. All the wiring is done now. This harness here and this harness are backwards of each other so that we can't get them confused. You can't plug them in wrong. We've got them backwards of each other. Next step is to take these harnesses here, get them wired to the car so we can get the dash put back in. So we're back in the shop today. Um, we're going to uh, get rid of the uh, heater core, so we're just gonna run those lines through each other. Um, we're gonna get rid of this sound deadening right here, get rid of the heater core right here, and then get this carpet out. First off, you wanna locate your in and your out. I'm not sure which is which, it's not super important to know. So we'll be loosening up these hose clamps, pulling them off, and then we'll be getting some sort of U or maybe just a a pipe with, uh, with a bend in it and uh, be able to bypass the heater core. That way we'll be able to pull it out. It'll save weight and we're not using our heater anyways so it won't bug us too much. Alrighty, so from this side over, we've got just a dud here in case we want to do fogs or anything like that. Um, actually, this one and this one and that one are all duds, but they are wired up so we can hook them up to anything right now. Um, we've got our accessory, our on, a secondary on switch, and I can switch this either way, pull this key out. Then the ignition, e-stop, e-stop light, the electric fan, that same dud, passenger window, blank if we ever want to add another switch, hazards, USB port, and driver side window. <laughs> 